good morning from the quiet village of Orava. It's home to a super cool castle which is like built on a mountain or hill or rock side, whatever you want to call it. This village is quite cool as well. It's really quiet. As you can see, it's a very, very cold morning. So, plan today is have a look around here for a little bit, then head to Lake Mara, which is about a 45 minute drive away. Some cool views of the High Tatras, which is the area which I'll be staying quite close to for the next two nights. And then after that, I'll be going to do this hike to a lake called Pleso. I think that's what it's called. I don't think it's pronounced like that. But the hike should take me about four hours, so I need to be there starting the hike at about 12 latest because with the sun setting at the time it does, I don't really fancy being up in the mountains when there's bears about. After yesterday's antics when I found a bear paw print, I think it was, or a huge dog's one. Breakfast on the go today. Seven days croissant. It's actually my second one. I'm gonna try and get some food when I get to Lake Mara. But yeah, this will have to do. change of plan I just got to that second place Lip Bosca Mara basically Lake Mara and nothing was open other than little so I didn't really see much point of stopping because I wanted to go there to get to have a walk around um, as well as take some pictures of the mountains but you can't see them because of the fog so I'm just gonna head to the place where I'm doing the hike which is about 45 minutes away I am pushing it because the hike supposedly takes four hours and I will have just about four hours before the sun sets so this is going to be fun because I don't fancy being in the in the hiking trails and up in the mountains when the sun sets because all the signs say uh, beware of bears after sunset so yeah let's get this hike on the road the views are insane. I do hope I can get to Zeleni Pleso. Be cool to see the lake with the mountains behind it. It's cold out, but I'm so hot doing this hike already. Oh, everyone's walking the other way as well. Stop worrying, sign. I'm not a fan of doing this on my own when I know it's bad. I keep hearing things. Oh, I'm like putting things in my head. It'll just be my breathing because I can't breathe. Just went past the sign then, and it says two hours. So, I do really need to start thinking if it's safe or not, because I'm not being in there when it's dark. I hate to do this, but I'm just going to go back down, just come here tomorrow, <clears throat> try and get here for nine, maybe a bit earlier. Two hours still to the top, sun sets in two and a half hours, it's three hours back down. I'm not doing that to myself. So annoying. Because I could have done something else today. So all the stopping I did from the castle to here. Getting all the drone shots. But it's okay. 
I can already feel the temperature dropping as well. So much of the path is oh, full of ice. I'm gonna head to my new Airbnb and just check in in Poprad. bit there's the bed look at the view chilling for a few hours in the Airbnb uh, so tired again I keep saying that on all these videos I'm so tired just got because I got up so early and I've been out all day when the Sun goes down I keep thinking it's like nine o'clock but it's literally just turned 5 p.m. so I'm gonna walk into the center to see if anywhere is open so I can get something to eat because I can't spend the whole night eating them crisp they're disgusting Let's see if this shopping centre is open. Hope it is. I can hear music. Tesco's not open. Damn it. The hunt for food continues. I'm just going to go back out and then head to the old, old square. Such a smart idea walking down the dark walkway. Sorry mum. My Airbnb host said to go to this place called Crazy Cafe, which apparently according to Google Maps is a hotel with an Irish bar. Oh. Genuinely don't think anywhere's open. That Crazy Cafe wasn't open. Oh. Like the worst day of the trip so far. Might get one of the electric scooters and uh, scoot all the way to a petrol station. I think that's literally the only place that's going to be open now. Let's go! Wow, literally been on that for like two minutes and I can't feel my face or my hands. The quicker I go, the worse it gets. Petrol station pickups, classic Pepsi. Another Zlatty Bazant, but different bottle. A new one, Saris. I've seen up quite a few signs around it, it's a Slavensko. Which, sure, that's not 10%. If that's 10%, I am screwed. Just got a bar for the hike tomorrow. And then this is, this is my dinner. Thankfully she warmed it up. It's like a chicken schnitzel burger with gherkins, pickles, and sauce. Not much to it, but it'll do. Let's see what it tastes like then. That's actually banging. Two nights in a row chicken burger. Spent the last couple of hours sorting through footage from today and try and get the hot water working which just isn't happening at all the water runs for five seconds really hot and then it just cuts off so I can't have a shot so this is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed day three of my Slovakia road trip it's been an eventful one a frustrating one should I say
If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.